welcome to classes on organic chemistry and today's class is on general organic chemistry reaction mechanism and it is on a rearrangement reaction many of you have a little knowledge on rearrangement reaction and it is very important maximum of the reaction involves rearrangement if you don't have knowledge on rearrangement your answer will be wrong in the course of discussion i will tell you that this year in need 2023 a question was asked and which was chiefly based on rearrangement reaction but maximum of the student to whom i know has given the wrong answer so let me start what is rearrangement reaction so the definitions uh, which are not important but you must know what actually rearrangement is reactions which involve reactions which involve migration of atom or groups from one side of molecule to the another side of molecule giving rise to different structure is called rearrangement i will explain what it means means in the structure say here there is a carbon like this just i am showing you you can understand it uh, that hydrogen may shift to that place it is atom maybe group there may be ch3 group that ch3 may group change from this position to this side from one side to another side it may be atom it may be group there will be the migration of atom or group from one side to another give of the same molecule giving rise to different arrangement of the molecule is called rearrangement reaction am i right very simple rearrangement reaction now why this this is very important thing very often you may you, you, you one thing may come to your mind that why there is a question of rearrangement in between the reaction in the course of the reaction when the reaction is proceeding sometimes you see that there is a question of rearrangement why there is question of rearrangement so this is very important thing until and unless you know the you do not know the reason of the rearrangement you can't be uh, able to understand what a rearrangement is a rearrangement occurs only when it results to a stable structure of carbocation say you i will give you example a carbocation has formed and that carbocation is not too much stable if there is a chances of shifting of atom of group of atom to make the carbocation stable say it is one degree carbocation if migration of one degree, one group or atom makes it two degree or three degree so more stable than the former one then the arrangement occurs so the arrangement occurs only in carbocation which gives a stable carbocation otherwise it would not have occurred to give the stability of carbocation rearrangement is essential so rearrangement occurs in this way so now let me explain there is a migration am i right the word is very important migration of atom or group now what are these type of atom or groups that are migrated in type of this and what is the order of the migration maximum of the time you do not get which atom or group will migrate faster if there is methyl group if there is H group if there is phenyl group which one go faster so i am here so it is very interesting things which group or atom will migrate in carbocation to give you stable carbocation these groups are one is hydride this is phenyl benzene in the substitute and a substitute and phenyl c6h5 phenyl i am writing the order this is methyl so migration of atom and these are groups will occur of the order like this the tart al alkyl means in carbon there is three ch3 group ch3 group ch3 group ch3 group in carbon c plus three degree alkyl halide and two alkyl halide means there is two alkyl group one alkyl means ch3 ch2 plus group and methyl it has the least mobility so you may ask one thing why there is migration of this one is faster than all this because of smaller size because of smaller size so we have learned what is my rearrangement reaction why rearrangement 
should occur and what are the groups of atom that will migrate it from one side to another side and what is the order of migration of that group you will never get in a systematic way so please learn it uh, minutely follow it now you see how this migration occurs important thing i am going to explain you and basing upon this miss 2023 NEET question ask i will solve this question in this class mind that it is very interesting you minutely follow so rearrangement due to migration first type of rearrangement is hydride shift or hydride migration hydride shift methyl shift phenyl shift ring expansion you may not heard of this thing i am explaining one by one listen to me minutely Very often you will come across uh, in the reaction, there is shift or migration. You may not understand how this occurs. So number one, hydride shift. Means shift of hydrogen with bond. It's called hydride, not proton H plus. It is with bond, hydride. Let me take one example. Say in the reaction, you were given butanol and you are given acid H plus and you are asked to go on the solving the problem. So when you will be given acid, so you know OH is having lone pairs of electron. Am I right? That lone pair will first attack this one, miss protonation occurs. So arrow is this, means there will be bond of this one. In earlier classes, I have told you. So what is the answer? Answer is CH3, CH2, CH2. CH2 OH one hydrogen attached means you are giving getting this so OH2 is there so in my previous class I told you if there is OH3 or OH2 plus it will be elimination in elimination reaction I told you so you are getting mind that we have got a carbocation of one degree 10 my am concerned with migration and here topic is hydride shift. Now let's see if you are given say HBr you are asked to do a reaction with HBr say this year equation comes with HBr that's why I am taking this example you are given butanol and asked to do HBr. So with HBr what you have done you have added first proton protonation step is there. Next step your Br Br negatively attack to the plus charge. Am I right? So, if you instantly add this bromine here, your answer will be wrong. You should see if there is any chance of rearrangement. That's why you must be alert before giving you the result. You see, are there any rearrangement of carbocation? That is from 1 degree carbocation to 2 degree or 3 degree stable, stable carbocation. If there is a chance, then you may rearrange first. Sorry, rearrangement first and then finally attack with bromine. You see, if you, if, if, if you write here, In this way, CH3, CH2, C, H, and H. I have I have done nothing. I have written it in a clear way. You see, if you shift this, it is one degree. Am I right? It is one degree carbocation. You shift this in this way with bond, not with proton H plus, with bond H dot. H bond hydride. So what happens here is CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, and that bond has gone to this place, and there is now carbocation plus. Have you not got two degree carbocation? So at the very beginning, I told you why there is need of rearrangement because there is one degree, so one degree to two degree stable carbocation, so it will get rearranged fast before reacting with bromine and then you add bromine br negative with this you add bromine here but if you add at the first step bromine here negative your answer will be zero you will get zero am i right so this is 
hydride shift you can write hydride shift or one to hydride shift one to two place one to hydride shift this is the type of one to hydride shift now methyl shift reaction with methyl in it this is the question asked and maximum of the student gave the wrong answer you see first of all there is protonation mrn so what would happen you see So, when the uh, proton is added to here, it is lone pair of electron added here, you are, you are getting O is negative and that will release out. We have got 2 degree carbocation, am I right? So, instantly before reacting to nucleophile bromine, to this position you don't do this such, such mistake you see are there any rearrangement yes there is rearrangement of one to shift so one to shift so what you get here Why the shift is there? Because you are getting 3 degree carbocation from 2 degree carbocation, so 3 degree more stable than 2 degree. That's why due to rearrangement, you have got this one. Now you add bromine. In the la last step, you add Br negative, you are plus bromine. And if you add bromine here, if you uh, attach bromine here, your answer will be wrong. Maximum of the student instantly uh, attach bromine here, nucleophilic attack here, they got the negative marks. So mind that rearrangement is a tremendous important importance. I am showing you till phenyl shift One to final shift. One thing I have forgotten uh, to tell you that yes, I am explaining here. You see, there is three final group, final group, final group, and this is carbon. You are getting carbocation here. Is CH3, CH, uh, CH2, C, C, this like this. Is that it? So there is a shift of this group. That group has that group has shifted to with bond shifted to this place. Am I right? So one to final shift. If there is a crowding and that has maximum energy there is unstability of electron and it is two degree carbocation and when it uh, transforms to this you are getting three degree carbocation and cloudiness or bulkiness has disappeared to some extent so there get here it gets less energy so it has got more stable it has got the this structure has got more stability less energy it is cloudy more energy and it is less cloudy and it is one degree two degree and it is three degree hence um, uh, it is more stable hence the shift has occurred this is final shift uh, we have got this thing a little ring expansion rearrangement through ring expansion rearrangement occurs through ring expansion how See, you are asked to make the reaction. 
Ah, uh, say you can you can give it in this way. Am I right? So again, this bond will bond here, and it will attack proton. It is pi electron electron displacement. You have shown it mesomeric effect. Ah, uh, electromeric effect. You have seen it. Electron displacements occur in this way. So here is negative. Negative sign is withdrawn. Here negative will attack to this one. So hydrogen plus will attach with this CH2. Am I right? So what do we get here? So as soon as, as uh, this hydrogen attached to this one, this will become carbocation. Mind that it is two degree carbocation. Mind that it is two degree carbocation. So what second here is that bond will extend it to this one. That it is called ring expansion, and this has got less stability. And we know that rearrangement occurs to get the more stable carbocation. So here the stability. Occurs through expansion. So when this ring expanded to give that arrow means a bond. So five six bonds are already there in the benzene. So it arrow means seven. We are getting seven ring. So so I have drawn seven ring in this way and. This is CH3, and mind that how to arrange this CH3, and this is the next of CH3. So next of CH3 is CH plus, and this CH CH plus has entered here. This CH3 is here, and next carbon is CH. CH3 is that carbon. Next carbon is CH, and along with this, you are getting CH3. So that CH3 CH has entered here, and when the bond. Has expanded, so it has got plus charge, and it will be there is a hydrogen. That hydrogen will come as this. I'm sorry, it is not benzene ring. It is cyclo structure. It is cyclo. Am I right? That's why there is no other bond. So when uh, the bond is extended, this one and The positivity of this one is disappears because as that bond has been created, bond is formed. So this is disappeared. So one extension of this one, you are getting here plus charge. And next, uh, if you give bromine or deprotonation, this proton will moves away, and that bond will incline towards this. So you have got this thing. Um, um, so our condition is that when when the ring ring expansion will occur, that carbon bearing positive. Very very interesting two fact is there. So when will get ring expansion? Be very often confused because whatever the ring, it is benzene ring, it is cyclic ring. Whatever the ring, whenever you would add a proton, you are getting a carbocation. So whenever you get a carbocation, you see whether it is is type is um, two degree here. It is three degree again. Am I right? Is type is two degree. So when there is two degree, if there is any chance of expansion or rearrangement to get the more stable carbocation, yes, with the extension of ring to five mem six member to seven member rings, we see there there is a, um, when the ring expansion is there, um, the strain is less. Ring is smaller, three degree. Uh, uh, cyclopropane um, is there is more strain than cyclobutane, less strain. Cyclopentane less strain. Cyclohexane less strain, cycloheptane less strain. When the ring is expanded with more and more number of sides uh, or bonds, uh, we are getting less strain. It is by strain theory I have explained in one or another of the classes of five year classes I have seen. So when the strain is less or lessen, uh, so we are getting when more strain is there, more more is the energy, less is the stability. When on increasing the bond, the st uh, strain has been lessened. 
and the energy is less and stability is more on the other hand 2 degree to 3 degree carbocation again it is stable so stabler form has been arrived due to the expansion of the ring and the condition is that immediate the carbon bearing positive charge should be immediately next to next to cyclic structure next to benzene or cyclic structure otherwise if there is carbon and there is plus you can't extend the ring second one that's carbon plus and benzene ring or any ring should be side by side and next one resulting carbocation must be stable than former one whatever carbocation we are getting is the uh, it is former it is final one final carbocation is stable than resultant carbocation if these two condition is fulfilled there will be ring expansion so this is all about the type of the arrangement which may occur during the chemical reaction and we are spent one by one with detailed explanation the reaction and very important very often in entrance exam and higher entrance exam very often this type of rearrangement is asked and one is pinnacle and pinnacolon rearrangement So in the short form methyl group, CH3 group is written as Me maximum of you know. And I have taken a structure when dial structures when uh, double OH is there in the compound structure and you are asked to uh, made, made is to react with the proton. This is with acid. What will you do? There is first protonation. Earlier already I have shown you protonation. Am I right? So uh, uh, this, will, this will do this. Don't be confused. This is very simple. You can understand it very easily. Uh, follow it patiently. Maximum of the mechanism follow the same path and this is the interesting aspect of the organic chemistry to learn it easily. So if there is like this we know there is protonation. It seems to be tough but very simple, very simple. So we are concerned with rearrangement. Am I not, am I not rearrangement? You see where the rearrangement occurs. You see rearrangement is occurring. That bond is lone pair of electron is there withdrawn here. And when that bond is withdrawn, that will be the uh, disturbed with the valency of carbon. Four valency will be more than four valency, and hence there will be shift of methyl group. Am I right? So you see what happened here. So you see interesting fact is that there is shift of methyl group, one to shift, methyl group one to shift. From one to two methyl has been shifted. So this shift has been is, is, is compelled by the moment of this uh, displacement of this electron here. So you are getting here double bond and OH is there. So O has got three bonds. So O is now positive. Am I right? It has got unstability so step that will be protonated and that sign will be withdrawn towards positive to make it balanced so what you get is so you are getting ketone earlier it was all so all to own so pinacol to pinacolon pinacol to pinacolon pinacolon am i right so one of the interesting aspect or application of the rearrangement through the reaction mechanism i have so reaction is very famous reaction very famous reaction very often comes in entrance and so also in second year the everybody know the answer when you will find in second year 
you please subscribe the class so that you will get uh, the questions answer uh, the chapters or videos of second year already have done a lot of questions on, uh, chapters on second year and it will be very important for us because within a short time i am i will give you the package after package on entrance so this is actually involved hopman because that's why hopman bombard reaction is i have taken in the rearrangement type of reaction let's see how it appears you will never find the rearrangement you will never find the mechanism in the class generally it is not mentioned so first occurs bromine appears one higher place of hydrogen there bromine occurs i will explain first you see that two removes now then bromine moves in this way and where is the uh, rearrangement occurs here is that methyl shift to this one and that comes in this way so we get o c and these are all resonating structure and finally we get with potassium hydroxide r n h2 this part plus k2 cr3 this is so i am just concerned with the rearrangement uh, where we see when we give rco nh2 we give rco nh and then we get uh, this and then bromine is lost we get this and that step we see the mechanism with the rearrangement so this is methyl shift methyl shift <laughs> am i right another is backman rearrangement eight genera so this is backman rearrangement backman rearrangement occurs in different type of the reactions here you have taken oxime a type of oxime where oxime with pcl5 we get cyanide compound rc and nitrogen rcl so i have taken this one so with pcl5 pcl5 there is loss of hcl1 h from here h and this is pcl4 that pcl4 is attached with here Here there is O P C L four and O in place of H P C L four and H and one chlorine from this P C L five. So it is P C L four and one H from here. So I have got this one. And then there is a um, moment of. So when there is a moment, we see that is breaking occurs here. P O Cl3 and but here is 4, one Cl will be attached in this way. So PO Cl3 will be attached and that bond will be withdrawn towards this one. So we are getting R H has been moved, shift, shift of H is here N. So H has gone to N and that bond has withdrawn here because this is detached. So it is 
R C triple bond N and that is H. Remember it. So bond of N is three and one four. It is plus ion. It is deprotonated and that bond is wouldn't have to satisfy R C. So here in this point we have got one two hydride shift. So I have shown you some of the important uh, mechanism uh, where their rearrangement occurs. Hope this will find a lot of application in your future with higher kind of uh, question solutions in higher entrance also in the state. Uh, hope you have enjoyed the class and please um, subscribe to the channel so that you will get amples of questions and solution of second year organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry have already completed all conceptual classes um, thanks a lot for watching the video um, in the next class i will appear with another beautiful concept of organic chemistry